Hey everyone, my name is Grape Applesauce, and welcome back to another video on the Bad Lion server. Today we are going to be doing some more MCSG PvP. Um, we're not quite going to the build UHC realm yet. We're gonna stay in MCSG just for a little bit more, maybe one or two videos more. Um, we want to make sure um, that we can maybe get to 2k elo before I leave the MCSG. I'm actually at 1700 right now. Um, it's kind of harder to find higher eload players uh, in the MCSG kit here. So let's give this guy his screenshot. And um, we're going to keep trying to grind out to 2k elo. It's quite hard to do because, like I said, not many high eload MCSG players, at least that I can't find. Um, but I feel like, in my opinion, I don't want to spark too much uh, debate here, but I feel like MCSG is the hardest kit to uh, be good at. And the reason why I'm saying that is because... You don't get many mistakes to uh, make. If you make one mistake, you're pretty much dead. Um, whereas build your HC, you get a bunch of gapples, so you can win every single fight, and then you could lose one fight, and then you die and lose the game. So MCSG is a lot harder. There's not much room for mistakes, and um, if you make one, then you know that's game over. So I think it's a lot harder in that terms, but I'm sure there's a lot more things that make build harder. Obviously, using multiple blocks. Um, let's go at it with this guy. He is a 1600. We got some two decently played elo uh, eload players. I swear on this map, I always have super defensive players on it. I swear every single time. Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. I played that terribly, but I still won. <laughs> Luckily, see, one, one thousand. This is might be the lowest elo player I've ever played against. One thousand elo? No. I didn't know. I thought this was a myth. I thought you couldn't get to one thousand, but everyone starts somewhere. So I'm not bagging the guy. So everyone starts somewhere. I started at thousand elo before. Well, not on the server, but like back when I used to play. So let's see what this guy's strategies are. He's got the flint and steel out. He's learning how to use it a little bit. He got me in it. Um. Kind of just because I ran into it, but uh, he is figuring out how to play the game, which is good. He's on the right server to learn, which is always helpful. All right, I would let this guy win, but I'd probably lose so much elo for letting him win. So we're not going to let him win. <laughs> Sorry, man. We'll, we'll do one more fight, and then we are going to go into some post commentary and show some uh, gameplay. Um, I think I fought this guy in the uh, the, the post commentary I'm going to be doing. I'm pretty sure I fought one of this guy this guy in one of the clips. That's quite odd there. Okay, there's two shots on him. Oh, close fight. There we go. So hopefully we can get some more people on MCSG. I'd like to play some higher uh, ELO players just to get my ELO up myself and just to get the experience. So uh, yeah, that's about it for the live games. We're about to hop into some post commentary. We're going to review some footage. So all these clips are on my new internet. My new ping to bad line is now 50, like 54, um, instead of like 90. So it's a really big improvement for me, as you can see in this clip, by the way. Nice bow lock right there. I think I only missed one shot. Yep, right here is the only shot I missed. But I've been focusing on bow accuracy a lot in MCSG because that is the uh, most important kit to have bow accuracy in. Because you only get eight arrows. You got to make them all... Uh, you know, use them all wisely and make them all do damage to your opponent. So it's very important to have bow accuracy in the MCSG kit, which is one of the other reasons why I think it is the most difficult kit, uh, in my opinion, because you don't really have much room for error. If you shoot all your arrows or you miss a bunch of arrows and your opponent still has a bunch, that gives them a chance to, you know, drain you down with some uh, nice bow shots, nice combo. Uh, on this guy coming up right here. He gets me in a flint steel from that far away. Look how insane that was. That was a really close fight. But I wanted you guys to see just how far away this guy just flint and steel me. That was really good on his part. Um, we have another fight here. This is a longer fight. Probably one of my longest fights uh, in MCSG. It actually goes down to the wire. Um, I've been starting to do this like flint and steel fake thing. Where I'll put the flint and steel out like I'm hitting the ground with it. So sometimes what it will do is make people rush me, which will I'll just actually do a real flint and steel, but this guy wasn't falling for it. So he was trying to do kind of like my own thing against me there. I got him in the flint and steel there by holding it out and punching the ground. He finally rushed. Um, he was kind of playing similarly to I that I did. So like 
as you can see, he wasn't shooting the uh, the arrows every single time. He would uh, conserve them on shots he knew he would hit me on. So that is the smart way of playing, in my opinion. And uh, some people find it annoying, but it is uh, the smartest way to play. See, as you can see, four arrows. Really am conserving these and not going to waste any on him. Um, and try and make all these hit him. See, there we go. We evened out the damage. I was able to regen some hearts by uh, not just spamming all my arrows. And luckily, I hit this last rod combo on this guy that thankfully gives me the win. I get this extra hit, which, you know, we were down to one hit. I get a two-hit combo, which gave me the win. That was insane. This one's pretty crazy, too. Um, this is a higher eload player. Actually, I think he was almost 1,800. Um, hit him with this crazy flint. Like, I, I rotted him into the flint steel, which is awesome. And I just spam rotted him, and then... Boom, hit him, he burns to death. Those are the most satisfying kills is when they burn to death after you hit him uh, away. So I've learned a bunch of new things on the MCSG kit. We will head on to the build kit soon enough. Um, but we're just practicing some MCSG for now. I really want that 2K ELO in MCSG. As you can see, this guy, we just traded straight line combos. And I finally got the rod combo and I won the fight. So that has been today's episode of Minecraft PvP Tactics. Nothing really new in terms of tactics, maybe one or two things, but more of just some really good gameplay and just to talk to you guys about some PvP stuff. So I guess other than that, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see more, let me know and uh, let me know what kits you guys want to see. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.